Are you planning on having a fall garden? It's a wonderful time to plant and grow food in my neck of the woods because of cooler temperatures and less insects. Hello everybody, welcome to Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. In this episode, I'm going to share with you some of the seeds I will be germinating for my fall garden. And I'm also going to share with you an update on my Hugo culture. So we are sowing some seeds. Uh -huh. And what are we getting ready to do, Brian? We're getting ready to plant the seeds. All right, plant the seeds. We're going to the front uh, lawn to turn on the yep, water hose. And then on the way back, we will get some labels for emerald apple. Red, pardon me, purple Russian tomato. That was a uh, complimentary small package of seeds from Baker Creek. And then here we have the great white tomato right here. And we will put the labels on everything. And here we've got sugar baby, Chinese, pardon me, yeah, Chinese pink celery, and some thousand head kale. And we will get labels. I'm glad I moved this potting chair close to the back door, so um, yeah, it'll be convenient for me to water it. What is this, Grandma? What is this? What is okay, this? Hold on. this is well, I don't see anything coming right here, but right here we have kale that and we're going to grow in our fall and winter. Up? Right there, popping up. You want to know what that is? Don't touch it. Yeah. This is sugar baby watermelon. Mm. It's a new bush type that I'm trying out where the leaves won't get real long and it'll be more suitable for our garden because we're running out of growing space. And right here in the middle, you asked about that, it hasn't germinated yet. It's a pink celery, okay? Over here, we don't see any evidence of anything germinating yet. We have a white tomato, a purple Russian tomato, and an emerald green tomato. So we're going to empty this out. Wait, just a minute. You'll empty that out, clean that out. And then, listen, come, listen. Brian, you said you wanted to learn. Did you want to learn? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna put these back in here and it's clean. And we're gonna add some water in the bottom of here and let the water absorb all the way up. And you can see it's getting a little dried out. But you know what, I think we can wait one more day. Okay. Now let's check on what we have over here on the top of the table. These are the ones we planted the other day. Are you watching? Yes. We have green giant tomato. We have two green giant. Mm -hmm. 274 bush beans. More 274 bush beans. And we have purple uh, beans. And these are floating a little bit to the top, so I'm gonna cover a little bit more soil. Well, actually, this is jiffy. Uh, seed starting mix. Stop it, guys. I thought you wanted to learn. We do. Leave it alone. Just put a little bit more soil. Bria, didn't I say leave it alone? Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to slide this back. Hold that, sweetie. You don't want them in direct sun. I'm going to turn this one out a little bit out of the shade so that kale because the seed is leaning let me zoom in it's leaning that way which means that it is uh leaning for sunlight so i'm going to push turn this one around bring this one out a little bit and let it get a little sun okay so that's it now Did you it's time to uncover the seedlings that are under 50 percent shade and as you can see here, they're looking fantastic. Looks like the tomato plant is uh, stretching to get a little sun, so I'm going to keep them uncovered this morning. Been fabulous. Got a little mold here. I'm going to put some cinnamon on it. That happens. And sugar baby watermelons can actually be planted, but I'm not going to plant them yet until I find a place to secure them under some shade because we're going to get ready to have another heat wave with temperatures 100 degrees or more for over a week. 
all of the tomatoes are doing great. They need a little bit more sun, so I'm gonna leave them out from under the shade cloth until it gets about 95 degrees. Okay, just wanted you to see our progress. Here's some of the beans. Uh, these are contender that I started last week. They're growing very some fast. More contender beans. A little damage from uh, juice soap that I had with neem oil. Got a little too hot for them. But they're doing flowers. Better. They bloom at night. When the sun comes out, they're gonna shrivel up and drop. And then we'll get more. You see the ones that are sticking up that haven't opened up? More will bloom tonight. And the reason why they're blooming again is because I cut down the asparagus fern. At least I, you know, cut it back some. And also because we had two days of rain with temperatures lower than 100 degrees. So that allowed them to bloom again. Because sometimes when it's over 100 degrees, flowers don't like to bloom because it's too uh, hot outside. Okay? And there's our pecan tree. Comfrey over there, right there to the left. Ooh, nice. Green globe eggplant struggling, but I think we're gonna get something and one. I meant to say right artichokes. Okay. And there's another pecan tree that I'm gonna relocate. And right over here, we finally getting a bloom on the, uh, excuse me, baby, Texas Star Hibiscus, the red one right there. And all of that real tall, uh, stuff growing right there. Those are Jerusalem artichokes. And we're going to dig those up before the first frost. And here is the comfrey that we cut down last week. I told you that guys don't be worried about it because it's going to come right back. Remember, Brian, when we chopped and dropped it into the container trees? It's growing all the way back, isn't it? And there are some mums that I'm going to have to relocate because the comfrey just overshadowed them. How do they grow back? Because we give it water and sunshine. The good Lord designed it to grow that way. Okay? Okay? okay. All right. This is my youngest grand angel, Bria. She's four and will be starting school, pre-K, next week. Actually, week after next. So, I'm going to be losing my garden helper. But... Bria will be coming over on the weekends with her cousins and her brother, and we'll still continue our gardening lessons. Thank you for watching. Bye now. Very good. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and tell your family and friends about my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye now.